Country music star Toby Keith has died, his social media sites and website announced early Tuesday. He was 62, the sites said he, passed peacefully last night on February 5th, surrounded by his family. He fought his fight with grace and courage. Please respect the privacy of his family at this time. Unabashed patriot, sometimes a polarizing figure in country music, the six-foot-four Keith broke out in the country boom years of the 1990s, crafting an identity around his macho, pro-American swagger and writing songs that fans love to hear. During the course of his career, he publicly clashed with other celebrities and journalists and often pushed back against record executives who wanted to smooth his rough edges. He was known for his overt patriotism on post-9-11 songs like, courtesy of the red, white and blue, and boisterous barroom tunes like, I love this bar, and, red solo cup. He had a powerful booming voice, a tongue-in-cheek sense of humor and a range that carried love songs as well as drinking songs. Among his 20 number, one billboard hits were, How Do You Like Me Now, Should Have Been a Cowboy, As Good As I Once Was, My List, and, Beer For My Horses, a duet with Willie Nelson. Long Road to Stardom, Keith worked as a roughneck in the oil fields of Oklahoma as a young man, then played semi-pro football before launching his career as a singer. I write about life, and I sing about life, and I don't overanalyze things, Keith told the Associated Press in 2001, following the success of his song, I'm Just Talking About Tonight. Keith learned good lessons in the booming oil fields, which toughened him up, but also showed him the value of money. The money to be made was unbelievable, Keith told the Associated Press in 1996. I came out of high school in 1980 and they gave me this job December of 1979, $50,000 a year. I was 18 years old. But the domestic oil field industry collapsed and Keith had not saved. It about broke us, he said. So I just learned, I've taken care of my money this time. He spent a couple of seasons as a defensive end for the Oklahoma City Drillers, a farm team for the now-defunct United States Football League. But he found consistent money playing music with his band throughout the Red Dirt Roadhouse circuit in Oklahoma and Texas. All through this whole thing, the only constant thing we had was music, he said. But it's hard to sit back and